In this video, we're going to look at how to add a transmission function to a spectrum. And we're going to make use of the calculator property page and the set operand and the intensity calibration page that allows you to take the operand from the calculator and apply it to a selected VAMAS block. When the VAMAS block is updated using the update TF with calculator operand, then it's the transmission function that is associated with the spectrum that will be updated. Currently, the data in this VAMAS block has a relative transmission function that is suitable for Kratos sensitivity factors. The quantification we see here is making use of Schofield cross-sections, and these require an absolute transmission function and will also require escape depth correction in order to obtain a reasonable ratio for these two peaks. Now these two peaks are both from copper. One is the copper 2p, the other is the copper 3p. And since they're both from copper, if we correct them appropriately with a transmission function, relative sensitivity factors, and escape depth correction, then we ought to get a ratio of one to one. An absolute transmission function has been calculated and saved as a separate VAMAS file. Within this file, we have a, a VAMAS block. And the curve we see here represents the change as a function of kinetic energy of signal for this particular operating mode, that is pass energy 80, low magnification, and the slot slit arrangement for apertures has produced a characteristic shape that changes with kinetic energy and in particular, you can see that the position for the copper 2p and the copper 3p represents a change in intensity simply because of the transmission of the instrument. So what we need to do is go to the calculated property page. And if we press the set operand button, then the color changes indicating that the operand has been set. And this means we can now go back to the spectrum and then select data of interest and this is the data that's displayed in the active tile so i've made this selection and then on the intensity calibration property page there's the update the transmission with the calculator operand and it applies to the selected vamos blocks so this is going to update the transmission function for the selected vamos block here and when i press the button you can see that the VAMAS block comment is updated to indicate a transmission update has occurred. And then we can do control page up and verify that we have indeed updated the transmission function with a curve that we think appropriate. The control page down takes us back to the data. So now we have a different value for the atomic concentration as is indicated here not really atomic concentration because we're simply looking at copper but we're looking at the ratio of these if we're aiming for 50 50 we've added a transmission function but the quantification has not entirely gone the way we'd like it so the next correction that we need to do is the escape depth correction so the tick here indicates that we've got a transmission function active but we have an escape depth of none so we need to correct for this. So if I select the VAMAS block again, this activates this toolbar button, which allows me to update the escape depth correction. It's currently set to none. We need to set this to effective attenuation length. This is a bulk material. So we would expect an effective attenuation length to correct for variation in escape depth from the sample as a function of kinetic energy. And when we do this correction, we now see that we have close to 50-50 for these two peaks. 